नमस्ते स्टूडेंट टूडे विल गोइंग टू लर्न आर न्यू चैप्टर स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन सो हियर व्हाट डज मीन स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट सो इट इज द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ योर पावर रेस टू द पावर टू ओके सो ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन इफ विल टेक टू नंबर एंड यू मल्टीप्लाई इट यू विल गेट ए स्क्वायर एंड दिस इज योर ए स्क्वायर ओके सो If we'll take five into five, we write it as five square. So, whatever value we are getting, this is your square of whom five. So, if we wants to write that is square of five equals to what five square, which is equals to what twenty five. Okay. So that the meaning of square. so what is the meaning of perfect square so here like one square equals to 1 this is your perfect square two square equals to 4 this is your perfect square which one four is the perfect square not two okay three square means nine so nine is your perfect square number then we will ask you give the example of perfect square number then your answer will be 1 4 9 16 25 so there are lots of number there means there are infinite number of what numbers are there and a square of it is a perfect square number now let's try to understand about the square root this is the totally inverse of the square that means if we'll take the perfect square so let, let's let's try to understand the meaning of a square root symbol here the symbol generally used like this okay this is your square root of a how will going to read square root of a what is the meaning of this one see the here the power is 2 and what about this here the power is half generally we write this half in this form now if we'll take here 3 then it will be look like a to the power 1 by 3 if we'll take 4 inside of this part it will be written as 1 by 4 a to the power 1 by 4 when the power are in fraction we represent in this symbol so for two generally we don't write by default we say there is a two okay so we have in our syllabus q root also in the next chapter we'll going to see this one q root and if we'll take here like uh, one square we have taken is one so if we'll take one q equals to one or if we'll take two square equals to two and if we'll take two cube equals to what sorry this will be 4 and this will be what 8 so we're going to learn this one q root meaning similar to the square and square root so whatever we're going to learn in the square and square root it will remain same in a chapter q and q root so do this chapter nicely automatically your chapter q and q root will be cover okay so here we have first 30 natural number square you can see here you need to learn this all 30 natural number so from 1 to 30 i have written here you need to keep it in your copy make it note and learn this one if you learn this up to 30 according to your syllabus 30 is enough if you want to learn more than that it will be good okay so here first 30 square you need to learn and here you can see the square root like if i'll take this symbol that means square root of 1 is 1 square root of 4 is 2 why sir square of 2 square of 2 is what 4 and square root of 4 is what 2 square root of 9 square root of 9 is 3 look at the symbol root over 9 Equals to three. Root over sixteen equals to four. Root over twenty-five equals to five. 
now the question will arise so how could you say this one is equals to 1 and root 4 equals to 2 this is our target okay let's try to understand the square so if i'll take the number like if i'll take a root 4 and i'm saying that sir it will be equals to 2 now let's prove this one how could you get this one so we know that this symbol represent half and if there is a 3 inside of this one if you want to write 2 here it's okay if you will not write no problem like see we are writing a 3 and if you don't write here by default there is a 1 similarly here if you will not write here it shows that there is a 2 and for 3 4 5 6 you need to show the number if you will not show the number it shows that there is a 2 okay now try to prove this one root 4 equals to 2 so we know that root 4 can be written as 4 to the power 1 by 2 now 4 can be written as 2 square okay and in power chapter what we have learned that power of power are multiplied that means 2 to the power 2 into half see cancel each other we are getting here 2 to the power 1 and it will give you 2 we know this formula will give you m into n we have applied this one and we are getting this okay i hope you have understood thank you